Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the third part of our XSLT tutorial series. So far we have learned how to create XSD using XML document, basic transformations by using basic functions within XSLT and how to use conditions in XSLT by using if, else, choose, when, otherwise. And today we will learn how you can create and use custom variables in XSLT. So if you haven't seen part one and two of this series and you are new to XSLT, I recommend you check those out first and then watch this video. And if you are here just to learn about variables in XSLT, then let's start. There are a few things we need to remember about XSLT variables. First, whatever value we assign to the variables becomes its data type. So you just give your variable its name and assign a value be it a string, integer, or even an element type. And once you have set a variable's value, you cannot change or modify that value. So XSLT variables are more like constants in conventional programming language. You can, however, reinitialize and assign a different value to a variable within for each loop that we will do in, in today's demo. You can see the syntax of variable declaration on your screen right now and you use dollar sign to fetch its values. So before we jump on to our demo, let's see what are source and target payloads for this demo and what we are trying to achieve today. So this is going to be our source XML uh, for our demo 3 for XSLT variables where we have uh, a couple of students so we have students as root element and student is the reoccurring element where we have name and the score of that particular student and the subject and the passing marks for that particular subject. So if you'll notice, uh, passing marks are different for different subjects and it tells that how much that particular student scored in that subject. And based on the difference between passing marks for that subject and the score of that student will identify whether the uh, student has passed the exam or not. So in our target XML, as you can see, we have mark difference other than uh, candidate ID and name. So if the passing marks were 50 uh, and student scored 45, it says difference is minus five. And that's why we are sending a message called sorry to inform that you have failed and if the mark difference is in positive then we are congratulating and based on this logic we will be able to demonstrate uh, the variables local as well as global so let's start with our demo so we are going to use our same uh, program that we used for our demo one and demo two so let's first create the schemas for our source and target payloads. So as we already know that uh, how to do that from our demo one. So I will fast forward this. All right, it's done. So we have our source data XSD and we have our target data XSD and let's create our mapper file or xslt file so new xslt map let's give it a name as demo3 variables and source element and our target element that's it we'll click on ok so for now, what I'm going to do is I'll quickly create our logic, uh, what we discussed, our output without using the variables, and then we'll create variables to show you how the variables can come in handy during a transformation. And these mappings and everything I have already explained in our demo one and demo two. So I'll not uh, waste much time here. So as you can see, I have quickly created a for each loop uh, to iterate uh, student variable and then student ID to candidate ID, name to name, and then now the marks difference, which will be the difference between your score 
minus uh, the passing marks so if your score is 45 and passing marks are 50 then it will be minus 5 so for that we can use one of the mathematical functions subtract you can directly do that in 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 source code as well so source minus passing marks will give us the mark difference and now the message will be based on if the candidate has passed or failed so let me use choose and when uh, to do that and for when we'll use if score is greater than equal to passing marks then of course it's uh, if the student has passed otherwise fail so for that we'll have a logical function greater than equal to so if our score is greater than equal to passing marks then we have passed the exam let me copy that congratulation message from our target sample xml document here you go you can go to choose and then use choose otherwise here but let me just do it directly from the source i'm just more confident with this in the source itself otherwise i'll copy this message put it here i'll copy this message that we want to send to the students who have failed the exam here you go so our source to target logic is complete without using variables as of now so let's first test it and then we'll use variables and i'll explain you why variables are important so let me go to design let's test it i will give my data into my source test file so like this save it and i'll test it again and as you can as we can see it is absolutely similar to our intended target data because the difference is in minus uh, that means the student has failed with five marks so sorry to inform you that you have failed your exam and similarly uh, other student candidate id2 has passed with 40 marks so congratulations you have passed your exam now let's just imagine that there are like 100 students that you'll need to uh, evaluate and send the message to and you copy and paste this message 100 times and now suddenly we want to change this message to something else or let's say we just want to remove this exclamation mark here you'll have to make those change 100 times so what we can do now is let's create a global variable and use that variable as our message so global variable is whatever we define inside style sheet and not part of any template so let's do that on above template we will create a variable And let's create another variable for a different message. Let me copy this message from here now. I 
and similarly let me copy this sorry message from here and now we can replace the whole value with dollar sign and get that message from message here so dollar and variable similarly so now if they say that we want to change the congrats message we will need to just change the value of of our variable and it will reflect everywhere where we have used this variable so let's quickly test it and then we'll create a local variable which will keep uh, reinitialized with each loop we'll do that just now just go to the design and let's test it let me close all this All right, so messages are intact. That means our variables are working. Now let's quickly create a local variable within template. So let's call that variable. Let me copy the syntax from here. And now in for each loop, for each student, I want to create a variable to evaluate the difference in the marks. and it will be this i want the output to be number however it will be number just to have an extra uh, protection i'm using this number function so score minus passing marks will become my mark difference variable and i can assign it here now and now this logic here where it says that if the score is more than uh, passing marks then we have passed the exam otherwise not now this can also be updated and we can use our mark difference variable if this is greater than or equal to zero that means we have passed this is as simple as this so let's go to the design and test this logic now so now if you'll see every time in the next iteration this will again be initialized and will give a different value to this otherwise other than this we cannot change the value of a variable it remains constant so we'll come to design and let's test it and as a matter of fact it is working and just to further test it let me add one more student in my source file student id 3 let me give my name here sanjay parashar let's say i scored 60 and subject name is hindi and the passing marks were 40. let's test it and in the target we have third candidate as well with the message that we want and everything is working as expected and we have used local as well as global variables so idea of creating this simple demo is that you understand the concept the syntax and how you can use a variable and now uh, there can be millions of different ways within your project you can use variables to achieve the logic and if you come to design here you will be able to see that you have variables here whatever variables that you create you will be able to see that and if you see the icon is a bit different for these two and there is no globe icon on this x here so this is local variable and these two are global variables so this is it for today's session and thank you so much for your time take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day thank you